I think the first three set the pattern for the for the rest, although they had to change like the one that's being made now, been been made now. Um, I think it's it's kind of history. I said to somebody else, it's it's an incredibly funny, strange question to ask because I think it's like we never know when we do something. We never know it could be a song, a play, a book that that is going to have this touch that that everybody loves and it will go on forever. One, I call it magic because I'm a romantic. Okay, um, so I read that's the only way I can I can answer. And of course, they're very well done. I mean, they have superb actors, uh, set designers. I mean. I'm, I'm sort of forgetting to say that. I mean, they really do have wonderful people working on the Bond film, so that makes it good. Do you have a favourite Bond film, a favourite Bond? I don't like answering that question. Um, my favourite Bond is Sean. Why is that? Because he set the pattern, because he set the tone, because he set the whole the whole thing going from the beginning. And it's kind of skyfall. It looks like it's going to be kind of unrecognisable from, say, the first Bond film. Yes. Do you think that's a great thing? Well, I hope it... This is a personal thing, OK? I hope it doesn't have a whole lot of fast editing. I, fi I find fast editing so distracting. Um, anyway, we'll see, won't we? I'm sure it'll be a wonderful film. But I mean, I'm just being personal about my own taste. And just lastly, if I can ask you, now you were completely covered in gold. Yeah. Did that feel very odd? I heard that perhaps you had to have a hat. Yes, I did. I did. I did. It was very, very hot. It was very uncomfortable. But I had it all down the front here because the shot was lying down, uh, which um, the whole middle part was not painted gold. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.